Jessa is all alone. She sits in her room, waiting, waiting for them to come back. Her parents went out tonight after hearing the news that her big brother Daniel was involved in an accident. The last time Jessica saw Daniel, he had sped off on his motorcycle, mad at their parents. Then it rained. It rained so hard. They were so worried about him. But now, all of their fears came to life. It was a call from the police. And that motorcycle crashed. So the parents went for him, and she was left alone. She had been waiting for too long. It's already 2 a.m., but she still hasn't heard from them. She waits. 2.30. Every second makes her heart beat faster. The doorbell rings. They're back. She rushes down the stairs, falls, but doesn't feel the pain. She opens the door eagerly. At the foot of the door, Daniel and her parents stand, wet and cold in front of her. My mum? Dad? Daniel? W what's happened? she says, but they just stand there, cold and unmoving. Danny, what happened to you? Are you all right? Yes, little sister. I'm all right, says Daniel. His voice has changed. It became deeper, colder. Mum, Dad, where did you go to find him? Jessa asks. He was lying on the pavement, her father replies. His voice has changed too. D -d Dad? M Mum? You seem off. No, baby. We just came to get you. For our family to be together again. We you've been waiting for us, right? What are you talking about? Their television suddenly turns on. The news reporter begins. Another accident happened tonight. A couple. Harry and Christine Robertsons died in a car crash. The victims have been identified as the parents of another victim of a traffic accident, Daniel Robertson. They were... Jessa stumbles back in disbelief. Mum, Dad, you're dead, but I don't want to die yet, she cries. Honey, we wouldn't take you if you weren't dead. Her mother points her fingers to the stairs. Jessa follows to where she points. She sees her lifeless body at the foot of the stairs. Her head was cracked open and bleeding. How many times have I told you, her mum says, to watch your step 